However, it would be selfish of me if that was the only reason that I felt like I needed to fight against the church. That would be, that would be selfish of me. It's not. I truly believe that the church is deceptive. I believe that the church is parasitic. I believe that the church is dishonest. And it, dece it has deceived me my whole life. And it's deceiving my family. I do not like seeing people take advantage of my family. If I see anyone pick on someone in my family, that makes me angry. That makes me want to make um, justice, to bring about justice, to get revenge or, or to bring the, per the perpetrator to justice. I, the LDS Church claims that it's Tithing money is used for charitable purposes. And yet, it is unwilling to release its financial statements. It does not state how it releases, how it spends its tithing money. Uh, I believe by conservative approximations, the church receives a few billion dollars a year in tithing. How much money does it spend on helping people? Well, that's a difficult question because the church doesn't uh, release annually how much they spend. But they did release a while back. They released a document that said over this 25-year period, they spent a little bit over a billion dollars on humanitarian aid. And that is commendable. That's wonderful. I will obviously never have a billion dollars in my life, and I don't care. That's fine. But that means I will never be able to spend a, million, a billion dollars on helping people. I don't even know if I'll ever spend a million dollars on helping people. It depends on how much money I make. I don't think I'll make enough money to spend that much on charity. So I commend the church for spending a billion dollars. That's, that's amazing. That's wonderful. But the question is, what are they doing with the rest of the money? They make billions every year. And over 25 years, they spend one billion on helping people? Yeah, they have to pay for maintenance and building their own churches and things like that. That's, that's true. But it's not all the money they're spending. And I know it's not all the money they're spending because they even admit that they're spending billions, literally billions, sort of somewhere around $4 billion on the mall in Salt Lake City. A mall. This, isn't, this is not a charity. They're not going to build the mall and give it away to somebody. It's not, a, it's not a charity mall. It is a shopping mall. It is a for-profit venture. The church has a high-rise apartment complexes. They have a shopping mall. The, why are they in business? It, they're a church. They're supposed to be a charitable organization. Why, why are they taking money from people that... I mean, my family's not rich. I'll tell you that right now. My family is not rich. And some of, you know, some, some people in the church are just barely making ends meet. And yet they're paying 10% of their income to the church because they honestly believe that this money that they're paying to the church is going to build up the kingdom of God. When in reality, it's going up to build, I mean, it's going to build up the pockets of the people that run the church. It's, it's, it's for profit. It's, it's that you're building a shopping mall. How else? I mean, what? how can you get around this? Is the shopping mall for Jesus? I mean, I understand. I understand wanting to make all of the area around Temple Square beautiful in Salt Lake. That's, that's fine. I understand that perfectly well. Why not make it a park? Why not make it, you know, something that's not for profit, something that the public can come in and enjoy, and it's not building up the pockets of the people in charge. I mean, how, how, how is that any worse? I mean, make it beautiful, make it wonderful, and make it free for people to come see. Why, why make it a huge shopping center and a huge apartment complex that you're just going to make money off of? That, that's, not a, that's not a church. That's a business. And it's dishonest. And I, and I, I don't like seeing my family being taken advantage of like this. 
I don't, I don't like seeing the church lie and say, okay, pay your tithing because Jesus wants your money and, it, and you know, you, we need it to, to build up the kingdom of God. And it's like, well, yeah, okay, so you are spending money. Obviously, they're spending money on building churches because they build churches. Obviously, they're spending money on maintaining churches. That's, that's great. But why are they spending it on profit? Why, why are they trying to act as a corporation when they're a church? This isn't, this isn't right. This isn't honest. This isn't decent. This is not something that I feel comfortable just standing by and watching. You know, if, it, if people were aware of what's happening, if the church were honest, if it released its financial statements, if it told everybody where it was spending all of its money, and they were still comfortable with where it was being spent, that would be fine. I, I wouldn't have a problem because there's no deception, there's no dishonesty. You know, if, if my family feels comfortable funding with their tithing money a shopping center, you know, that's, that's their choice, it's their money. I just don't like the fact that the church is lying about it. The church is trying to say, oh, well, we just have God's will in mind. We're just trying to do God's will. Where does the shopping center fit into God's will? God, I mean, God wants you to have a for-profit venture. God wants you to make profit off of people by lying to them. I, what? No, I can't be silent about this. My my sense of justice just wouldn't deal with that. I mean, I, I can't. I, I would, I would, that would make me feel personally dishonest. That would make me feel like I'm lying. Because I know about something that is unjust, something that is dishonest, something that I feel is wrong. And if I remain silent about it, then I am just as guilty as the person that has the child molester friend and says nothing and waits and watches as this child molester friend molests other people's children. That's not right for them to do to just stand by and watch innocent children suffer. And it would not be right for me to do, to just stand by and watch innocent people suffer, innocent people who believe that the church really is altruistic and doing what it feels is best for the members, when the truth is that they're out for their own interests and trying to pad their own pockets. And I don't think, I don't think that's right. I'm not trying to get revenge on the church. I. I don't have any ill feelings toward anybody in the church. I love my bishop. We still communicate. He emails me. I email him. We talk to each other. I have no ill feelings toward him, toward any member of my local ward here, my local unit here that I attended. Nobody's offended me. People have said that they don't want to see what I post about the church and about homosexuality on Facebook, and so they've unfriended me, but that doesn't offend me. I understand why they don't want to read about it. I understand why they don't want to see it daily. That's fine. I, I haven't been offended by anyone. I'm not angry for what the church has done to me. But I see injustice and I can't stand by and watch as it happens without saying anything. I feel like I, it is my duty, knowing something about it, to tell people. I feel like the injustices that the church does of oppressing gay people, of lying, lying openly about gay marriage, saying that legalizing gay marriage will infringe on religious rights. This is a blatant lie, and the church repeats it over and over and over, and it's not right. And if the church did not do these things, if it did not lie about gays, if it did not lie about gay marriage, if it wasn't trying to be a political machine, if it wasn't lying to its own members about where it spends its money, I wouldn't have a problem. I'd just leave them alone. I really would. Just like people are asking me to do. But I can't. I cannot because that would violate my sense of justice. I really hope that I've explained thoroughly in this video 
why I can't, as you say, leave the church alone. It just, it wouldn't work. I don't, I would feel personally like an enabler, just like an enabler. That's how I would feel. And uh, maybe I'll have more to say about this later, but for now I think that's it.